Hi everyone, welcome to another model kit review. Uh, today we'll be reviewing the MSA 003 Nemo, uh, part of the high grade Universal Sentry line and part of the Zeta Gundam series. Um, it is number 150 in the high grade Universal Sentry line and it retails for approximately 1500 yen. Um, so let's crack this open and have a look. So we'll just take out uh, all the sprues and we've got a sticker sheet and our instruction manual from the box. Put that aside. So we'll go through the instructions first. It's a standard uh, high grade book. Go through the parts here. We've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sprues. Um, and by well, looks of it, there's quite a bit that's not getting used in the poly caps and the hand section there. Um, instructions are, are your general, usual, high grade uh, looking instructions. Color guide on the back there. Um, the usual sort of stuff you see on these manuals um, and we'll go through all these sprues now we have the sticker sheet all foil stickers um, a couple of things there as usual most people know that I, I don't use these so uh, most of these will go to waste um, but I will definitely probably use the visor maybe at least the sensors so, uh, it's not a bad sticker sheet but still it's a sticker sheet Okay, we'll go through these. Uh, we'll go through them in order. So we have uh, this, this one's the A runner, uh, which is not bad. We've got a bit of feet detail there underneath. Everything's nice and clean. Um, no, it looks pretty good. Uh, the front skirt will probably be modded. Uh, just chop that in half, and then you got movable skirts. Uh, this has got the shield pieces as well. Uh, B1, it's in this lovely green colour. Um, we've got the arms, like so, um, and parts of the waist, the chest, etc. A bit of the leg as well, and B2, same again. Um, as you can see, it's identical to that, to that part of the, uh, the sprue there, so you've got left and right. C, C1. A few nice details there. We've got a few uh, pistons. Uh, we've got the uh, the leg pipings, uh, parts of the hands, etc. Some of the weapons. Um, yeah, I'm actually liking liking that detail there. That looks pretty cool for a high grade. Um, and C2, same again. Um, identical to that part, so yeah, left, left and right feet, obviously legs and arms, part of the internal frames. Um, then we have D, which just has the uh, the yellow vents. E, which has the orange visor, which is pretty cool. It means I won't have to paint the visor in the orange colour, so it's pretty neat. And then we have the standard beam saber attachments. Extra hand stuff, uh, we've got the open hands, plus we have the closed fists and stuff. Uh, that's pretty cool. So we've got yeah, another, there's four, four hands there, two sets of hands. And lastly, the poly caps. So what I'm going to do now, uh, we're going to sit down and build this. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's pretty simple looking high grade, and then we'll be back uh, back shortly with uh, with more on the Nemo. So we're we'll back in a second. All right, uh, we're back again. I've put this uh, Nemo together, and so far I'm 
Bought and pressed. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about. Um, this is everything that we had left with the kit. So we've got the, the completed kit uh, with a shield, um, guns, beam sabers and spare hands plus the sticker sheet. Now the first thing I'll talk about is uh, it went together very well. Standard sort of um, high grade kit. Um, what I found as I was going was the actual posability is really really good. Just for a demonstration's sake, um, with the arms um, you can actually do weird poses like this. So they can actually go all the way back, um, nothing's really impeding them because the, the shape of the shoulders actually fit in well with the backpack there. So uh, you can actually, with a bit of tweaking, do some really weird, bizarre poses. Oops. Um, that's another issue I'm just going to talk about is these, these little armour parts here. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, with the posability, the, arms, the arm pos posability is very good, um, and so are the legs. Now you can actually do the splits with this Gundam, which is a bit weird, uh, but yeah, the posability is quite well. Um, so the, the possibilities are quite endless with this po for the posing of this kit once you've built it. Now I'll move on to a couple of issues I've found with it. One, as you saw before, the um, shoulder armour here quite easily just pops off. Um, that's due to the way it's designed. It sort of doesn't really sit on with a peg sort of a system. It's more like a force in between the teeth and um, in this section here. As you can see in there, um, it just sort of sits on the outside. So. Um, I'd recommend this is the sort of thing you need to glue on, otherwise it's just going to continuously pop off. Um, I had issues with the knees. Um, it's not going to come apart now. Uh, or is it? Yep. Uh, I had trouble getting these actually into the poly cap there. Um, it would go in halfway and then it just keep popping out all the time. So that's another issue to be wary of. Uh, again, that might need some glue. Um, so now I'm not, it's difficult to get it back in. So now it's actually, uh, now that I've pulled it apart, it's actually difficult to get back in. So I'm going to need to pull this apart now. Pull the back of this leg off just so I can actually, well now it's a bit easier to see. Um, you can see it. It goes in fine with no armour, but with the armour on, for some reason, it just doesn't want to go on back in place. Um, that aside, it's not that big of an issue. Uh, a little bit of glue would fix that. No, no biggie, but uh, just a bit of a, a niggly problem there. Now, I mentioned the detail on the pistons. Um, you can see them just. Um, I do like you can see this visible detail there, that's pretty cool um, but the pistons are hidden underneath the uh, front ankle armour there now the other issues I have are with the seam lines uh, there's a couple of standard seam lines, you do have your general ones along the top of the shoulders now they've actually made it so there's no seam line along the vent um, which is good, so one part of the armour has the whole vent on it, the other part of the armour goes around the vent. The only issue is you do have these terrible seams in here, uh, which makes it quite difficult to, for them to remove them because the vent part is actually attached to one of the shoulder parts. Uh, if the vent was a separate part altogether, no worries, quite easy to do, but because the vent is a part of it, it's very difficult to get in there with your sandpaper. Um, the other seam uh, that really annoys me um, is the head. Now the seam along the top here 
is quite well hidden and designed for the front sensor but you get these standard annoying seams um, on the head itself so they're going to be a bit of a chore to get rid of because of the shape of the head but um, still they're, they're easily done with experience but uh, they're just annoying um, this day and age we'd hope to see that something like this would be hidden as a panel line or um, something similar uh, the colors are pretty cool I don't mind the colors at all they're actually the green's not too bad um, I'd probably go a shade darker with the green um, make it a bit darker than this is a little bit too bright and cartoony but uh, that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to re be repainting this um, apart from that the details are pretty cool for a cheap high grade it's actually quite a well designed kit just a couple of these seam lines are a little bit you know niggly uh, just with the weapons we do have just your standard weapon which just does have the standard high grade seams up the guts um, again that's just a standard but being a flat surface there that's pretty simple to get rid of and the shield uh, the shield, yeah, it's a bit plain and boring. Uh, it's more more the uh, design than the actual kit itself. Uh, but it does you can change it into two parts, so you can have it fully extended, or you can actually drop it back in like this and have it in short. Uh, which that looks probably yeah not not much better, but yeah, the shield I'm not a big fan of, but yeah. And whatever's left over is a few different types of hands, plus the beam savers. Uh, things I do like about the hands is you do get both open hand versions. Usually you only get the uh, the left hand, and the right hand usually usually you get a fist or the uh, the trigger hand. But this actually has the two open hands, which is pretty cool. And yeah, the last few things, yeah, a couple of fists and a couple of. Uh, beam saber hands plus the beam sabers uh, that which are hidden at the back here which can be easily just slid out like so and then attached like that so overall it's not a bad kit um, posability as I said is great uh, a couple of seams are a bit of a pain but overall um, plenty of blank panels that can be detailed quite well um, and some nice additions to panel lines and stuff could be easily added. Uh, this one's actually going to be painted straight out of the box with no modifications, just for a, uh, a group build we're doing on gundamforum.com.au. Um, and so normally I'd probably modify the hell out of it, but in this case I'm just going to go for a clean straight paint job um, and see how pretty I can make it. So stay tuned for that one and thank you for watching.